Hey everyone, I'm super excited today. Not only is it beautiful outside, but I get to take you along with me on one of my days. Not only am I gonna get to do some amazing research today, but I will get to see a surgery as well. If you didn't know, I'm doing research in the Department of Neurosurgery at Massachusetts General Hospital, which is a Harvard-affiliated hospital. But before I can show you all of the cool stuff today, I do have to catch the bus. So let's make sure I don't miss that. All right, so I just got off the bus, but the bus doesn't take me all the way to MGH. So I gotta get the red line now. Gotta get on the T, so I'm walking to the station. Yeah, so I never got to see this type of cool stuff, all these cool buildings in my hometown of Portland, Oregon. All right, so I'm finally at the research building here at MGH, which is where I do pretty much all of my work. But today there is a surgery, and so I'm gonna have to scrub in in just 10 minutes or so, and then head straight to the OR. All right, we're all ready. Looking pretty sharp, but wrinkly, if I do say so myself. All right, so we just got done with the surgery today and it was absolutely amazing. It was really, really interesting to watch. All right, so we're gonna head down for lunch now. Uh, I just had an absolutely amazing time in the OR. Watching that surgery was really cool. Um, all of the procedure and all the moving parts from the neurosurgeons to the neurologists and everyone else, just absolutely amazing. <laughs> All right, so I'm heading back to the research building and it's time to get some work done. Today I'm gonna to be working with some large language models. I actually just joined the lab a few weeks ago and so I'm really getting into the depth of this research project now. It's been uh, really interesting to learn about some of the foundations and the fundamentals, but now I'm getting to experiment with things kind of firsthand and try some things out. And so I'm really excited for the work. So let's head over to the research building and get started. So I was working in the research building for a little bit and I came out just to film a short segment. Oh, whoa. Okay, so the helicopter and the whole construction thing makes everything really loud. So I came to a different spot here, um, but I was just gonna give you a brief update about the work that I've been doing. And so not only am I delving into some of the large language models, but I'm also working with some smaller models. And in a lot of my past research, I've applied these types of um, you know deep neural networks to solving various problems, but it's been really interesting to really go deep dive into these networks um, at a low level, like in a framework like TensorFlow and really understand, you know, what is the hidden state that is being passed on and what modifications can we make to this feedback as it's passed on and propagated through this neural network. So it's been really interesting to see that and um, I'm probably gonna head back and go for another session of some work. Okay, you know what would be really funny? If I filmed one of those like walking montages that all of the cool vlogger YouTubers do. So let me put my phone down and see if I can get one of those.
All right, it's around 6 p.m. I got a, a decent sized amount of work done. It is a Friday, so I don't have anything to do this evening. So I think I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll take you along with me and you can see what the Harvard gym is like. Um, and yeah, join me for the rest of my evening. It takes me roughly like five to 10 minutes to actually get out of the MGH building. But luckily right outside, there is a T right here, the Charles MGH station. And so I can just catch this. And because I'm filming this, I almost got ran over by a scooter. So we're here with a viewer of the Rishabh Jain channel. So I just got off the red line and I'm walking through Harvard Yard on my way to the gym. And this uh, fellow uh, Rishabh yeah. Jain viewer stumbled upon my vlog. So do you want to tell us what you're doing and can you introduce us to the yard here? Hey guys, my name is Devang. I just finished a two week pre-college program here. I took the data science class. And uh, this yard is uh, an access to everything. You have the Smith Center behind us. And just over there, you have the Annenberg Dining Hall, which is known for its food, I guess. I'm not sure. It's pretty bad food, but yeah, we can go there. Okay. Yeah, so that right there is the John Howard statue. And people just come and touch the street because he was the founder of Howard, apparently. There's a lot of controversy around it, but yeah. So as an incoming freshman here, I will be assigned one of these three dorms over here. So I know I'm in Elm Yard. One of these three freshman dorms will be mine. So I'm looking at my future house here. What do you think? Are these, is this the prime location yeah, for my dorm? Yeah, this is the location to be honest. You're gonna have a bit of problem with visitors here because anyone can access uh -huh. this area. But apart from that, it's a really good place. Beautiful yard, everything is amazing here. Nice. Yeah, so. You also have the dining hall really close to you, just right there, behind the fountains. That's the science building if you go forward. And beside that you have the Annenberg dining hall where you can have food and stuff. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, huge thanks and shout out to Devang yeah. for showing me around and um, pointing out some cool things. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet and you. It's actually really nice. Um, honestly, just walking around here, I'm loving it so far. And I know there's gonna be some people who are gonna comment and be like, oh, Rishab, you're just saying it's really nice because you're an incoming freshman. People who say that Harvard College's campus is like bad, at least from the exterior, I mean, it's, it's pretty nice. But this is enough dilly-dallying. Let's go to the gym. This here is the Hemingway Gymnasium, and it's actually pretty stacked out, you know, not the best gym in the world, as I'm sure, you know, no college will have, but, you know, it's pretty nice. They have some good equipment and everything. Now, as for filming in there, I don't know what the rules are, so I'm just gonna play it safe and not film it inside. But as you can see, here is the outside of the building. This right here is a statue of me. And um, yeah, so I'll catch you once I'm done. All right, so we finished a pretty amazing session in the Hemingway Gymnasium. Uh, nothing too special, but I just call it amazing anyway. It's a little bit cloudy outside, which is a little bit different than I'm used to, because ever since I got here, it's been 80s, 90s. The sun just won't seem to go away. So today it's pretty cloudy. It's a little bit chill, it's a little bit relaxed, and I'm gonna stay pretty relaxed too. All right, so my commute back home is 40 minutes, maybe an hour tops, um, and that's pretty bad, but I know people who have to commute two hours to work, and I mean, those types of lengths are just absolutely horrendous. And I kind of got bored after like maybe a couple days of just sitting on the train or sitting on the bus, not doing anything. And so I figured out a little bit of a life, it's not even really a life hack, it's just a, it's just a pro tip. So what I'd recommend doing if you have to commute like me is downloading eBooks or audiobooks on your phone. Right now I'm reading this book called A Thousand Brains and it's honestly really, really amazing. Uh, I do neuroscience research, so that's why especially it's really fascinating. In fact, some of the chapters tie into some of the work that we're doing. And so I found it super cool so far. Um, again, checking both ways to make sure I don't crash into some random cyclists. 
But anyway, um, all I'm gonna say is consider downloading an ebook or audiobook on your phone. And I actually recently got into Amazon's influencer program, so I might actually have some like special link that gives you guys like extra months free. So I'll leave that in the description below if you're interested in getting Audible. All right, so I ended up finishing off the day by getting some dinner and then going on to the cluster and working a little bit more with those large language models. Then I finished it off by uh, watching a movie with my older brother. It's called 12 Angry Men and I'd highly recommend it. It was really awesome. If you wanna see another day in the life video when I'm actually a student at Harvard in my first year, be sure to leave a comment down below and if there's enough comments, I might make a video like that. That being said, I hope you enjoyed. Now watch the next video on the screen, which is a day in the life of a Harvard Medical School student with my elder brother.